This is Cedric with Securely. I'm here to show you what's new in Securely Classroom 8.7. First off, we have a new class card design. Class cards now show the number of teachers in addition to the number of students, and have an icon to indicate if the class has been scheduled to start automatically. You can use the three dots menu in the upper right corner to edit the class and also access some new features. Selecting Pin will let you pin that class card to the top of the list, just like how you can pin students to the top of the list when running a class. Selecting History will take you to the Session History view, but filtered to only that particular class, so you can quickly look through the history of any class. We are also introducing a new customization option that many have asked for. You can now change the highlight color of your class cards. All you need to do is go to the three-dot menu, select Class Settings, and select a color from the drop-down. We're also adding new default class session options. These settings will take effect for scheduled classes and will also be used for the default options when starting the class manually. Previously, the settings when starting a class manually would default to the settings from the most recently run class, but now they'll be based on these settings on the class details page. You can now share block lists with other teachers by setting their visibility to public. Other teachers will be able to apply those block lists to their own class, but cannot edit or delete them. Other teachers can clone public block lists to customize their own copies. Teachers and districts that use Canvas will have an option in the Push URL and Site Lock tools to choose from assignments created in Canvas to push to students. For schools using Rhythm, a new tool is available when running a class. Teachers can choose a Rhythm assessment to push to students by clicking the Rhythm logo from the top menu bar. After pushing out an assessment, a link is provided to jump to the teacher dashboard in Rhythm to monitor responses. Because Rhythm now uses Securely SSO, no additional login is required. And that's all the new features in Securely Classroom 8.7. For more information, see our knowledge base. Thanks.